Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to June's How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit Share Thoughts and Sort of Plans. Now, as you know, this year, Sarah and um, Jan, who is Kay's mom here on YouTube, came up with some fun themes to sort of steer our thinking in terms of our kits, our plans, our photos for the year. And that has been a lot of fun. It's been fun also watching how everybody and seeing how everybody interprets the themes. So June's theme uh, is not so perfect. Now, some of the ideas that Jen gave us in the prompt for that was, you know, those less than perfect photos or um, some collections or maybe kits that we aren't quite as fond of or that we've been forgetting or um, just, you know, anything in that area. Now, I'm taking it, for me, in a different direction. I'm taking it... So not so perfect in the sense that I don't have a perfectly put together collection kit. I'm not working from a pre-made kit or a, a full collection. Uh, in fact, I'm working from a lovely, lovely paper pack that my dear friend Colleen brought to me when she came to visit me last October and this is one of a few she gave me some gorgeous gorgeous collections from a company that I did not know at all Lemon Craft which is a Polish scrapbooking company and I have this lovely collection and these gorgeous papers uh, and I think my goodness me I think Colleen gave me like did she not get she gave me like five different collections and they are absolutely gorgeous papers but I had nothing else to go with them in the sense of pre-made or parts of these collections or things that came with them and I thought you know now there's a perfect way to use these with that kind of prompt in that I'm using this lovely collection and then I'm putzing around my stash to see what I can come up with to pair with this gorgeousness. So to me, the not so perfect is sort of simply that it is not uh, a collection that was already full and together. It was a fun way of putting together a kit from a gorgeous paper collection and then going through all of my goodies and some little bits and pieces that I have left. Like if you look at this chipboard, this is less than perfect and there's hardly anything left. And this should be out of my stash and done. So that kind of idea. So I have these gorgeous papers and you can see the beautiful colors in them. There's some pinks and aquas and this sort of yellow, but then it goes into a little bit of maybe golden, even into sort of some beige colors. So there are 12 papers. So you can see, and, and as a lot of, um, the Polish companies or most of them are actually doing the back side of the packaging is another paper and uh, 49 and market are now doing that and a few others as well so I have this lovely paper now you see look at this is this not just gorgeous and this is where I say you see this goes into sort of the beige it's more brown than cream but it's not into the browns. The text here is brown. So the sort of neutral is on the brown tan side as opposed to the black. And I really, really like that. That is fun. This is a gorgeous aqua. But I think I'm going to be using this side. Another lovely pink. Ooh, with these, this is lovely too. I do like that. Now, I think 
I think I might be using this side actually, but or perhaps like maybe a half and half. I could do a half and half maybe here. Love, love, love this. These are sort of cut aparts. These could all be cut aparts. And another lovely pink on the background here. Again, something I think that I'm going to use um, a little bit of both sides. Uh, another cut apart. There's some gorgeous tags here, uh, labels, sort of medallion type things. Very pretty. And another beautiful aqua. Now, you see, I think here, where did I see? Yeah, now you see this one. I want to use that side, but I love, love, love this aqua. So I'm going to have some decisions here um, with this one because I do like both sides of this. And since I don't really have any, so, you know, in a way it comes with embellishments, doesn't it? it? It already comes with embellishments. So I might use a few of these, but I do love this as a background. Let's put it there that way for now, and we'll see where we go with this. This is beautiful. Again, I love, I love this sort of yellowy, creamy color. That is absolutely, oh, I love this. Oh my God, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard, my friends. So, these are the papers that I got with this lovely collection. And then what I did, I stored, oh, and I have the background here. Now, you see, I, I'm thinking here I might actually use this side, some of this, we'll have to see. But I do, I do love the mixture. I love the mixing in with this beigey, yellowy, buttery, very, very pale, buttery yellow. So I think I might be bringing in more of those sides. And then what I did is I went into my Bella Boulevard Besties and I brought two sheets in, the pink, of course, which will go beautifully with that. And then I went in with, is this oyster? It's oyster. It's one of my favorite colors, you see. And I think that pairs beautifully with the darker portions of this. So I'm going to bring some of that in as well. You see, if you look here, yeah, see, look, doesn't that sort of go... I, I do like that. And the other side, of course, of the Bella Boulevard Besties here is the dots. I tend to gravitate towards the graph side. And then I just popped in before putting away my print shop um, paper pads. You, you, you saw me go through my collection obsession um, sort of results of May and then putting together some sort of starter or um, starting points, I guess, not quite page kits, but starting points, and then saying, you know what, I'm going to put the paper pads back in my stash. And I just brought these two papers in because I, I do think this is a perfect match. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous coloring. That's a perfect, perfect match there, as well as this lovely floor, which brings in a fun contrast if I use this side, and I seem to be leaning more and more towards doing that. So that is the paper. So then, how do I make this not so perfect, this perfect, what, what do we say, um, perfectly imperfect? Uh, sort of kit, but uh, uh, I'm taking that very, very loosely because I really, really do love all of this stuff. So what I did then is I went into my stash and I got some bits that I think will work perfectly with this and turn it into a perfect kit. I have some sequins here designed by the lovely Sarah from Sarah Scraps, Frosty Morning, so it brings in the perfect tones. I, I need to go into my stash and maybe find something that will match with 
the more neutral colors, but I have the pinks and aquas in here for sure. These gorgeous flare that I got from Hey Little Magpie, the watercolor cameras, and, and I've used them sparingly, but is that not absolutely perfect with this collection? They are gorgeous, and I think I've said this before, I'm going to need some more of these for sure. Then what I did is I went into my indigo garden because of this sort of not so perfect aspect of that is I have absolutely no papers left from indigo garden but I have a lot of the embellishments and if you recall that is one of the collections that got me started on all of my thought process about buying more selectively within collections and not buying full collections anymore so I have no papers left, but I have some embellishments left. So I do have some of the bits and pieces, the ephemera left here, and the colors are perfect. You see, look at this lovely sort of golden yellow that will be perfect in there. It's got some of the pinks as well, so that will be a lovely addition. Uh, the flat back brads. I've used most of this set here, but I do have a little bit left. So I brought this in as well. The not so much, I guess, the purples, but definitely the yellows here, the pinks, um, even some of it. Look, this, this here, this lovely little bird will fit perfectly. So we have some of that. Then I have chipboard here uh, from Indigo Gardens and even from the Simple Vintage Garden District. Look, I have two pieces left. Now, now why is that in my set? That, that's a not so perfect thing for sure. So I need to use these two and I will definitely get those used up. So these are there and then I want to use the pinks and the yellows from here and then we'll see what we do with the with the purples but definitely get that out of my stash I have this one little three by four card that uh, looks quite lovely with this and it sort of just fell out of a bin in front of me so I figured I needed to bring that in and use it the sticker sheet from indigo gardens as well so the pinks this beautiful uh, sort of yellowy color here is a, an absolutely perfect match for this lovely lemon, lemon craft collection. So let me put that under here as well. And then, my friends, I went in and got an alpha. This is a set of thickers. Uh, that I've had in my stash and again I've, I've mentioned this to you before um, I have a little bit of trouble sometimes with these multicolor ones but you see this one I think was this a Chamel I think it was a Chamel with one of the Chamel collections um, so I'm going to try and use some of that the pink works um, even this this lovely sort of this is a little bit more green perhaps and this is a little bit more blue, but I think the, to the tonality of it works quite, quite well. So we have an alpha. So you see all of these not-so-perfect bits and pieces lying around my stash are turning into a perfectly beautiful kit. And then, my friends, I went and got a bunch of Nicole Jones 911 gorgeous digi prints and printables. And the colors that match this collection absolutely beautifully are pastel paradise look at that is that not the perfect so i went and pastel paradise is one of the families of colors that i've not used very much um so that's not so perfect on my part because they are beautiful they're a lot more pastel um then, uh, obviously, some of her other color families, which are, are very, very saturated. But is this not perfect? Look at that pink, that gorgeous yellow. Um, 
the sort of blue, we have the same sort of difference here, this lovely aqua and pale blue, so absolutely perfect. Then I also have here some of my not so perfect printing. You know, my printer is rather temperamental and it often, it, it's becoming a bit of a problem. I, I, I might have to buy a new printer, but I have the sort of ink subscription and it got off the rails at one point because they were sending me uh, ink and then it was not getting here. Uh, so after a while, uh, they sort of like resent me a couple of batches. So now I have ink coming out of my wazoo. So I think I need to stop that subscription, maybe just try and finish up using some of the cartridges that I have. But then I think I'm going to need, before the year end, I'm going to need to replace my printer, I think, because it's, it's getting annoying. So I do that printer maintenance thing, you know, uh, often, often. And then now all of a sudden today, uh, I did two iterations of it, and I did change one of the cartridges because it, it gave me that message, and I did manage to get quite a bit of printing done, but I did also go into my stash and get some that were already printed. But this was definitely, this was already printed, and this was from one of the not-so-perfect printing. I, I don't know, I don't remember what color I was trying to print. Uh, I have some uh, viewfinders here just to remind me of some of these colors, like the lovely pink, the yellow, and this gorgeous. This is the brown. This is from the, the single color, the brown, and it's the palest of them. So I've got some pink here. Then this here is from Cozy Cafe these mushrooms. So I brought in some of the Cozy Cafe as well because I do like the sort of little bit of a darker brown here. This perfect teal color here. The pale pink. So Cozy Cafe. So some of the Cozy Cafe, some of the brown, and this and some of the rose also collection brought some of that in, in the paler tones. Cozy Cafe here with these mushrooms. This was, I think, that, was this the turquoise or the mint? I think it's the turquoise, my friend. So it's a, it's a darker tone, but I do definitely like it with that. This Cozy Cafe, I love this pale very pale brown here, the pale, the, the, this pink here, I think matches quite well. And then this lovely minty green as well. The pastel paradise, uh, I went in with the inverted, inverted viewfinders, the small stars. Now you can see here that the printer was, um, being a little annoying, but at least the top part here works quite well. Pastel Paradise Hearts and the yellow film strips. Pastel Paradise Tabs. Pastel Paradise Cameras. Arrows. And then, last but not least, I brought in the newer collection. These are springtime flowers. They are gorgeous. And look at the saturation on this. But then, my friends, look at these lovely sort of yellow with a little bit of brown in here. Is that not just the absolute perfect match for this here? And then this lovely aqua color down here as well. So I printed myself two sheets of this so I could do some fussy cutting. So there you go, my friend. That, that, that my friends, that is my interpretation of the not-so-perfect theme, but I actually think this is going to be a fun and pretty perfect kit to be using. I always have, of course, all my other little goodies here that are ready, and I switch them out a bit. See, look at this gorgeous um, Bramble Fox Perspective is a perfect match. This color of flare. I've got some of the pinks in here as well. Um, 
This is frosted, but it, the colors are perfect. Some of the yellow as well. And I can always go into my stash, these little beautiful pink flowers. So as I said, I've got some of uh, some flare in here as well, which I think will work quite well. Get some, see this. Oh, that's a little bit too peachy. I may need to go into my stash and add a little bit more. Oh, look at this cupcake one. That is sort of perfect. So it's fun rummaging through here. And then of course I have lots more of the Nicole Jones 911 printables. So that that ticket will work perfectly. Uh, I already have some that are all fussy cut here. I think, look at this blue. Oh, that's maybe a little too blue. So we'll have to go and see. Uh, one and a half inch circle. So I've got lots and lots of these to go through as well, my friends. So I do actually also have a couple of not so perfect photos. Uh, that I think I might bring into this as well. So my friends, make sure you pop on down below and see how everybody interpreted the not so perfect uh, theme this month. I'm quite thrilled with this now. Um, I had been hoarding, because th these collections are absolutely gorgeous and I've been hoarding them a little bit. So I'm very, very happy to get one of them out here and used up this month. So my friends, it is a Saturday afternoon. Uh, I finished all of my end of the month shares and everything. And it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for another walk, my second one today, because we were without power earlier this morning when I, um, so I went for a bit of a walk then. And then my friends, I think I am going to settle into a fussy cutting frenzy and get to starting up with my June layout, 30 days of sketches tomorrow. And I have one more, I still haven't quite figured out my collection obsession for the month. Um, so I'll be back with that maybe today. I'm putting this up on the first, of course. So maybe I'll be back later today with my collection obsession for this month, or it will be up tomorrow, my friends. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, go and see what everybody else in the How to Kill a Kit with Style Gang has for you, and I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Bye for now.